You know what? If you go to my Twitter profile, Twitter Stuart, T W E T E R S T E W A R T, on the profile there, you'll see some of the books that I've written over the past uh, several years. Yeah, I'm author of books on TV and radio presentation skills. And some of that information and more, I'm bringing you over the course of these short daily podcasts on Get a Better Broadcast, Podcast, and Voice Over Voice, being in radio and TV studios for the last 30 years or so. And uh, today we're talking about common microphone muck-ups. And uh, this really is an episode that you'll want to check out the uh, the links to, which are in the show notes, because I've got quite a few examples here uh, that you can uh, that you can look at on YouTube, or you can read about as well. Uh, some of which are quite fun as well. So, uh, what about these? Some basic studio sound problems today, and some more advanced ones tomorrow. As get a better broadcast podcast and voice over voice continues. So these basic ones. Forgetting to put the mic on, or even to turn the mic on. Yeah, even pros very occasionally omit to attach a lapel mic to themselves or start talking before they faded up their microphone. Want an example of that? It's in our show notes. Forgetting to take a microphone off, or forgetting to turn it off. Yeah, walking away from a set and forgetting that people can still hear you, or leaving a mic live in the studio and your words still being heard by a production team, or being broadcast to listeners. Want some examples of that happening? It's in our show notes. The mic may be picking up sound that it's not meant to. Drumming fingers on a desk, the rustle of a script, the jangling of the presenter's bangle, a mobile phone ringing in the studio, perhaps because the pick-up area of that particular microphone has been ignored or misunderstood as well. Um, You may have some examples of those kinds of things happening in your own life or walk of life. Uh, The microphone not picking up the sound that it should be as a presenter moves away from it, or conversely picking up a sudden and unplanned burst of sound, or increase in volume as they move closer, or suddenly cough or laugh, or perhaps because the pick-up area of that particular mic has been ignored or misunderstood, or a lapel mic has been incorrectly positioned. Yeah, more reasons why. Sometimes you have what seems to be pretty basic microphone technique being ignored or forgotten about. Forgetting to put it on or to turn it on, forgetting to take it off or turn it off, mic picking up sound that it's not meant to or not picking up the sound that it should. OK, that's it for today. Tomorrow I'm back with more from Get A Better Broadcast Podcast and Voice Over Voice with more microphone muck-ups solved. And we're going to be talking about clicks. Yeah, what happens if you hear some clicks on your mic? What is the reason for that and how can it be solved in the future? From London, I'm Peter Stewart.